Ooh, look at my big hair. Anyway, I thought today I would share with you a little unboxing. Oh, excitement. So, uh, any of you who know me through my clinic knows I'm very faithful to the PCA brand uh, that we also stock in our clinic, funny enough, uh, because that's what cured me of my skin problems. Um, so, I suffer from rosacea, so I have to be very careful what I put on my skin. So, I do use the PCA brand, um, especially what I cannot, cannot, cannot uh, dispense with is uh, retinol particularly for rosacea because that's what cured my cystic rosacea problem which was absolutely ghastly darling anyway so I can't get away from that uh, but my husband knows I love all things skincare and I do love to try out new products um, that are not PCA related just like exciting new products in pretty boxes and uh, potions and lotions and things that smell lovely mm. I love it. So my husband bought me for Christmas a subscription to Ricocco Box. So I thought I'd save this one because we're all in need of a little bit of excitement. And uh, so I thought I'd share this with you. It's a bit of my excitement. I've also just bought the same subscription package for my sister for Christmas. I'm loving this so much. This was Christmas and I'm getting a present every month which is going to be one of these boxes so um and i loved it so much in january um that that's why i bought my sister for for her birthday which was yesterday happy birthday names and um yeah and she's already received her first box she loves it who doesn't love getting a box of stuff every month for 12 months like i just can't even tell you the excitement is real so this is what it comes in look and it's pretty it's just nice it's good i'm not even that girly but i'm loving this so we're gonna open it we're gonna see what's inside it Ooh. oh so it comes with all this prettiness inside it better be a good one now i'm now i'm sharing it like it just better be good okay so let's have a look and see what we've got ah oh, first off look bottle of lemonade this will go really nice with me homemade slow gin that I've got in my fridge, just waiting for a special lemonade occasion. So I'm gonna have that. I actually like this as well. Um, and it's uh, it's not so skincare related, so should it be in there? I'm allowing it. So then we've got this Sopa Dupa Shea Butter Body Butter. Now, if you're anything like me, I do everything to the face and I just completely ignore the body. But it's going to be one of my pandemic resolutions is actually not to do that. And so I'm actually graduating to a more adult at the age of 51, uh, a more adult um, uh, body care regime. I can't even say the word. I don't even know the word. What the hell is the word for taking care of your body skin, skin body care? I don't know. Anyway, uh, put the answers in the comments because I want to know what that's called. What called? What's it called when you take care of your body skin? What's your regime? Like, what do you guys do? I just completely ignore it. Just use soap and water, a bit of a t -t 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 spray, and go. What do you guys do? Are you better than me? Um, so this is it. Shea body butter. Oh, I don't know. Does this smell nice? Oh. Oh. Just, it, oh, it smells so gorgeous. Look at that. That is just, ooh. It's buttery. It's buttery for your body. Nice. I'm going to put it on here because this is the area I'm going to tackle when we get to clinic next. I'm going to have microneedling. I'm going to stick a bit of Botox in that microneedling solution. I don't even care. I'm fixing this decolletage because I'm 50 now and it's like, I don't know, I just started to look a bit creepy, but I, I feel like I can see skin changes. So, oh my God, I should have got on it years ago, but anyway, I didn't. And then I said, this looks nice. Evelyn Rose Soft Touch Face Foam by Crabtree and Evelyn. So this is, well, it's a face foam. So it's another skin cleanser. Now, usually I do use my... Facial wash oily problem. I think so. I use it whether I've got oily problems or not on my skin. Um, I just use this for washing. Um, but I'm going to, uh, I don't mind switching it up. If I haven't got any particular problems, I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to try this. If my skin doesn't like it, 
then um uh cuz bitch one minute darling one minute uh, i built this that is so amazing and it's mine it's my what? space helmet you're kidding me i'm gonna come out there i'm gonna have a look at that in a minute <laughs> can you go and help alison put a picture on you're good man you're good go kids you can't even make a video anyway gotta love them we're all in the same boat aren't we kids walking in puppies walking past llamas in the garden i mean it's madness right so this is it i'm gonna have a little whiff i'm gonna share with you what it smells like but have a look at my face because my face gives it all away oh <laughs> okay the first problem i've encountered is it's got this <laughs> top on it well that's annoying right at this minute okay let's have a look let's have a look what do you oh what's this smell like oh I don't know, it smells like my nan. But you know all the nice things about your nan? Not the granny's handbag, tights, uh, boiling pots of uh, dishcloths on the stove. Not that kind of Palmer Violet stench fest that we all know of our nan. You know when your nan smells really nice? Like that rose water and perfume and, I don't know, crimpling or whatever, whatever it is. My nan passed on. God love her soul. So it's a clear little it feels really gentle so i have rosacea so if i put anything anything on my skin that my skin does not 100 percent appreciate it will come out in spots so don't let anyone else tell you that that's a purge and it's normal no that's your skin shouting ah i don't like this get it off so i always listen to my skin so no matter how much i've spent on something if it brings my skin out angry in the bin I'll just give it to someone else because it might suit them, you know, we're all different. Okay, so then we have what's this? This is a floral ode. Oh, I hate that word, ode. Like, what is an ode? What's that? What is a floral ode? I mean, it's an oil, it's a perfume oil. Let's just get non fancy about these things. Let's stop saying ode. Can you even say ode without going ode? I can't. Anyway, let's give it a go. Let's not be prejudiced. Let's give it the O to go. Oh, do you know that's a bit strong for me? <sighs> that is... That's the joy of these boxes. Like, you will get a few products that you really like. This is the first one, actually. <sighs> that is... Uh, cool. You know, you know, back in the 1920s when we used to faint if they, you know, saw a mouse or you know, saw a man's ankle or something, and they used to bring them round with smelling salts. They all carried about with them all the time. It smells like that. Bring you back from the dead, that would. Oh. Anyone wants this, you can cheerfully have it. Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Somebody will love it. Do you know what I mean? Right, then, mm, what is this? Delightful thing. Okay, now normally I hate things called no needle because they're stupid and they just don't work. Unless you're a cattle that needs immunising, no needle crap is just that. Um, but this is called Nib and Fab Fixes No Needle Fix Eye Mask. Now these I don't believe in either. Nothing really fixes your under, your under eye area. is such a pain to treat. It is awful. Really, the only thing you can do... Uh, once it's gone and you've got, is you can do some um, eye hollow rejuvenation um, with dermal fillers. I mean, it's all you can do, really. Um, and that is tricksum. It's one of my special skills, but it is tricksum. Um, but I am also a firm believer of not just injecting things into the skin, but looking after the actual skin. So many people, when they're into their fillers and their Botox and all of that, thinks everything comes in a needle and they're paying so much attention to the table, they ain't thinking about the tablecloth. And, you know, this might be a tablecloth thing. So I'm going to give it a go. It is a targeted eye goggle mask to plump fine lines. Okay, so uh, already it's making a bold claim, isn't it? But to me, even if it's nice and relaxing, I have a nice bath, put me you know rose petals and stuff like that no kids ofs um i even have a little thing that goes over my bath that holds my ipad so i can binge watch a bridgerton or something you know who who doesn't like that and it's got this little cute holder that i put my uh, cristal from saint breeze uh wine glass in uh full of wine so that sounds like a nice bath and if i put i usually do a nice face pack at that at that time, I'm really fussy about face packs. It has got to leave my skin baby soft 
and relaxed and so my skin is going oh oh thanks man i needed that anything that wakes my skin up too much and it's like hey hey makes my skin angry like that hey what are you doing what are you putting on me i ain't having that i ain't having that what's this rubbish you haven't checked you haven't even looked you got it out the bag and you just stuffed it on me well i'm not having it and i'm coming out in spots bop, 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 bop. so anything that talks to me like that i you know i don't have it but i will give this a go um if you want to know how i got on just like drop some interest in the column in the comments and i will let you know i might even do a little selfie with me in my bath with this on. So you can all see what it's like. And then the last thing, you do get about five things. And some you get full size. I got this in my last box, I got something by also Nip and Fab, which is actually, uh, I have more faith in than, than this thing, but I can give it a go, give it a go. Um, so I also, um, I got this full size face cream, face wash thing, that actually my skin quite likes. Um, and I saw it down the road in in uh, Tesco's for twenty pounds. This this just one bottle of stuff, you know, one bottle. So I would say this is a really good one of these subscriptions. It's just such a nice present because it's a gift that keeps on giving. Who doesn't want that? I want that. In fact, I want loads of these next year. And this Christmas, I want loads of subscription boxes. I want all of them. So this is called Project Lip. <sighs> And I need that because, to be honest, I haven't had my lip filler done. I'm really noticing my top lip's going a bit thin. And uh, and I need to get down and I need to get it sorted. But I'm abstaining. I'm the same as you. Even though I can do it, I can't do it because I can't feel my own lips. And anyone that does feel their own lips, you have a look. Because they come out looking like Darlene's clock. I'll tell you that now. Right. So, what even is this? Oh, this is a bit fabulous. So, you, this is how to apply it. Swipe the colour onto the lips. Press your lips together. Mm. Ah. to activate the plump this is a lip plumping thing reapply to maximize the color and plump as desired but let's give it a go so this is where we're i'm trying not to make strange faces now because when we do our own makeup god we don't uh, strange strange weird faces that we put i don't think Oh yeah, some strange face. <laughs> Actually, when I try and do it into the camera, it's even, oh, hang on, tingly. Oh, well that definitely works. It's even like burning. It's like sucking on chilli, like one of those really hot chilies that you take a bite out of and then you, you know, you make a TikTok video running around spraying yourself with fire hydrants full of water. Actually burns a little bit. So, what do you think? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Nice. Burns. I don't know. I just say have lip filler because it just burns for a little bit and then the plump lasts for a year. This, I don't know how long the plump's going to last, but I'm paying for it now. Paying the price. So that is my Rococo box for this month. This is February's Rococo box. So I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing. Now I better go and see to my little boy who's come in and I believe there's pizza on the go. So I shall go and have a look at that. So I wish you all a lovely, happy day. And um, yeah, signing off.